Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Pack. I am working on all sorts of applied energistics related things. It's very, it's very exciting. It's very fun. Um, so basically, I am almost finished converting my whole refined storage system over to applied energistics. I've got almost everything done. Um, there's a couple very minor things that we still have yet to do. Like, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the fluid, because uh, my goal is to essentially get rid of refined storage entirely. That's kind of something the server as a whole has decided to do in hopes that it will help server performance. Um, so I'm going to need to do that, but I also need to get all this uh, applied energistic stuff switched over. And everything here is good. Why... Oh, this is just dark because it wants to be. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, so basically what we're going to end up doing is this is now my applied energistic system. As you can see, I have lots of stuff. I have all of my stuff in here. Uh, everything. Cobble and dirt and you name it. It's it's all in here. Um, why cobble? Why is cobble not showing up? I've got 600. Okay. Weird, just a weird little thing, I guess. Uh, but one very important step is I need to switch my item routing over to applied energistics because right now everything is still being routed to the uh, the refined storage system, and that's no good. So we need to do that like right now. Um, now that everything is finally set up as far as moving all the um, uh, the external storage, moving all that over. I've been working on this for like two hours. It took forever to transfer all the stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and get this done. So let's see here. We have an importer there. I'm going to need an import bus. I just realized that I ran all the way over here and didn't even think of that. And we're going to need some acceleration cards as well to make sure that it can keep up. So let's see. Do I have an import bus? I do do good and then i need four acceleration cards and that should do the trick and then what we're going to have to do is basically run this cable all the way up to here uh and it should be okay i don't think i'm actually going to need access to any of this stuff anymore so we can get rid of all that we can get rid of these cables here. In fact, let's do that right now so it stops importing stuff into the refined storage system. This is also all stuff that I don't need anymore. Uh, and this might actually hurt our power gen a bit just because... Um, uh, because a lot of our refined storage stuff is kind of tied into our um, our reactor. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's see. We can put all that away. Don't need the wireless transmitter anymore. I think all in all this should be fine. And what I'm ultimately going to do is just take this cable and run a regular ME cable in its place. So let's put an ME import bus on that chest and let's put four acceleration cards in there and that should import any of this stuff into our refined storage system, which is what we want. And then we need to bring this cable all the way over to our refined storage system, which is going to take me a little while. Let me get that done. All right, guys, I am back. So I finished running the cable. I think ultimately I'm going to end up changing this cable right here out for a dense cable. Um, but I think the majority of our stuff should actually be good now because most of it runs using quantum entangle porters uh, rather than piping directly into the uh, the refined storage system. Like, there's a lot of stuff here that I don't really need to worry about too much. Uh, what's this? That's a crafting grid. 
So like that, for example, I don't really need. It's just a grid. And then that runs over here. So this is actually going to be something I am going to have to worry about right here because this is all of our... Let's see. Yeah, this is all of our uh, our various machinery, our mechanism stuff, our room that makes, like, silicon and all that. So that we are going to have to actually do something with. I'm trying to see what else. And we can, we can wire that up. That won't be a problem. Um, but a lot of our stuff is transferred wirelessly once it's actually done. So I think... Most of it will be okay. I can get rid of some of these random things, too, that I don't need. This is basically just in place right now for fluid. Uh, but if we look in here, that other thing should be on now. So, like... Yeah, we see cobble, for example, going up. Because it's importing a bunch of cobble and stuff. So, it is working, which is good. It's doing what we need it to. We do still need to get all of this stuff that's in our refined storage system into our ME system. Like, that, we can't just have that stuff lying around. Uh, we also need to make sure that we have crafting grids throughout our base. And we are going to have to do something with this room. Because this, this isn't going to work anymore. Uh, we have all of these basically running off refined storage right now. Shouldn't be too hard, though, to actually swap this out, because I think... Yeah, we've just got importers here for the basic drawers. And then we've got an exporter there going to... Um, our... Our, uh, cobble. So, actually, that shouldn't be too bad uh and we can just get rid of all of these actually so we're gonna i'm gonna i got some pretty significant cleanup to do um let me see if i can patch up the rest of this guys and then i'll come back to you all right guys i am back so i think i've got all the refined storage cabling that's kind of spread throughout my base i think i have that all gone I'm pretty sure I managed to get rid of all of it. We still got a little bit, like, right here. Uh, but that doesn't actually connect to anything. It's just kind of chilling there. Uh, and we'll swap this out probably for something else fairly soon that will still do the same thing, automatically import Eulorium and automatically export, um, Plutonium or whatever the, whatever the, the blue cyanite. That's the blue stuff. I forgot for a minute. Um... So, it should be good. I do see that my reactor is a bit low right now. So, let's just grab some yellow, right, so we can fill this thing up. I do want to make sure that it's full, because this is our primary power source until everything else gets sorted out. We've got... I know that there are definitely still other um, cables running places like all of our, like our mechanism uh, system outside well actually no i don't think i actually have a cable that runs all the way over there i think it's basically all running on these uh quantum entangle porters right here at least that's my belief um let's grab some item conduits as well and i'll grab some upgrades to go with them because, like, we do have our farms over here, which are really important. And we want to make sure that this still does stuff. Because right now, this is all just uh, going into this chest. Although, what we could do instead is we could just set this here and say items input and basically just have it input it'll take it'll take any items and just automatically uh send them elsewhere so it'll send them to where they need to go in theory at least um how can we check that 
I suppose we could turn on these farms for a minute. And we'll just go, let's see, spawn. There we go. And if we start getting drops from cows and pigs, they don't need to be on all the time, but if we start getting drops from cows and pigs in our chest up here, then we know that it worked. Let's just look at this. Uh, wow, look at how fast that's importing stuff. That's just crazy. Oh, there it was. Yep, so that does work. Okay, awesome. And that means our feathers and our wool and stuff like that are going to end up in the ME system where they belong. Uh, so that's good. Let's see, that was over here. So we can turn that off for now. Because I don't really need it. Not too bad, anyway. We do need the wool, uh, but the cows and sheep and stuff, eh, whatever. Not too worried. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's see. What else did we need to do to really get this ME system set up properly? Um, I know... What I really should do is establish something for all the ores, but I'm not really too concerned with that right this second. There's definitely other things, though, that need to be swapped over. This... What is this output to? I think this actually outputs... to here. And I'm pretty sure that this outputs to... the chest. Easy way to check. Yeah. Yep, this ultimately outputs to this chest right here. Okay, so that is working. Uh, let's swap those around, just so there's a little bit of glowstone light here. There we go. So we know that works. This needs to be wired back up, but I can't really do that until I've got dense cables. We definitely need to make more crafting terminals. Like, that needs to be a thing. <laughs> And that needs to be a thing pretty quickly so that I can have them spread throughout my base. So let's just take a look. Uh, if I want to make a crafting terminal, I'm going to need a couple of those. I'm going to need a couple of those. Uh, I'm apparently going to need a few more of these formation cores. There we go, got our ME terminals, and crafting terminals, good. And then let's go basic cable so that I can run these around. Now, I am a little concerned because this, this basic cable can only support, support uh, four channels, and that's not a lot. That's really not a lot, so although... Uh, well, and let's see, let's see, let's try and figure out how many channels we're actually using here. We've got down here, I've got these running into P2P tunnels, which is how I'm able to have all these things going. So you've got one, two, let's see, one, two. This actually doesn't run into any... Oh, no, that's a crafting terminal. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four channels there, plus our chest up at the top. So this line is essentially supporting four things right now, four channels. So I can afford, at the moment, to put in a couple more crafting terminals. I know I'm going to definitely want one up by my base, like up at the top. Uh, I'm going to want one right here. For sure. We're definitely going to want one up here somewhere. So let's just kind of bring that up like so, and I'll just put it right there. And then I think that's basically going to be it. And then it'll take a minute for those to to kick in and realize, oh, hey, I'm actually turned on now. Like right now, see how it says device missing channel? That's because it's going to take a minute for it to realize that it's online. There we go. So let's go 
like so. We'll put some of this stuff away. Grab some hardened stone. And then also, there are conduit facades. Uh, gee, I synchronized. There we go. So there are conduit facades in Applied Energistics 2. And you can make just about anything with them. However, I believe they are hidden by default in Applied Energistics. Because there's like 22 pages of them. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. So, uh, right here, this is the recipe. Four cable anchors, and then surrounding whatever you want, what whatever material you want to make. So, let's go and turn that back to false. And let's make some cable anchors, which are right here. You can make them, it's basically just an ingot, and they're one of these Certus Quartz cutting knives. So let's just make a handful. And then we'll go like that and like that. And that will make a couple conduit facades there. Um, and I'll put one here and here and here. And it doesn't look quite natural just uh, just because this is a, a transparent block and there's light coming through. But... It looks better than it did. And it, I like how the uh, the conduit itself kind of sticks out just a little bit. Like it, you can see where that is. So I can go like this if I want. Although I'm kind of thinking, oops, that was not intentional. I actually want this to go here and a hardened stone brick to go there. But that's going to take a minute now to turn on. Might be faster to just run all the way over there. But that's okay. We'll just give it a sec. Not a big deal. But Applied Energistics, it's it's going to take some work to transfer everything over. But we're pretty close. I'm almost at the point where I can just dump everything that's in my, in my uh, refined storage system out of it. Put it into my ME system instead. We've got uh, a lot of overflow protection in here, so we're not going to get backed up, which is good because all the all the major items that I'm getting a lot of, um, I will quickly I, I'll show you in a sec here. I've basically got a, a I'm oh, and actually that was another thing I did too. I switched over to um, refined or to uh, storage drawers for most of my stuff. Um, and there were a number of reasons for that. There we go. That looks all right. But this gives us access to our stuff here. Uh, I switched over to storage drawers, and there were two reasons for it, actually. I, I found that, for whatever reason, all these quantum storage units... Uh, that's not the one I, I wanted to go down this hole. This looks like a mess, by the way. Um, but that's okay. It's the, it's the guts of the base. It's the part that you're never supposed to see. So... Uh, the quantum storage units appear to not actually be compatible with the ME storage buses. I tried linking the storage buses up, and that didn't work. So I ended up switching over to storage drawers. But that actually works out okay, because you can shift right -click, uh, shift right click these and put upgrades in. And basically what that will allow you to do, one of the upgrades is a void upgrade. So what will happen is this thing can hold 106,000 of an item, of a single item. And then anything I get beyond that will just automatically be destroyed. It'll still go into the storage drawer, so it won't back up like a chest or something like that. But it'll just get destroyed if this is at its limit. And that's good, because it means that essentially all of my systems won't get backed up and will keep working. And most of these things I'm not ever going to really need more than 106,000 of anyway. Like, I'm never going to use 106,000 sugarcane. Um, although this is not at that, but you get the idea. There are certain things that I'm just never going to use that much of. Uh, and then there are other things that I will like cobblestone and, and stuff like that. Things that get used very commonly, but eh, it's fine. It's fine for now. So now I think we need to take a look at our mechanism setup and see, uh, where's my way out of here? Here we go. I think we need to take a look at our mechanism setup and see what's actually linked 
to this refined storage system still because I know there are definitely some things and we need to, I want to completely get rid of it. I don't want it around. I want it all gone. Um, so let's see here. Do I have, is this reactor still going? No, no, I think it's the laser we're hearing. I was gonna say, wow, that's been going forever. Uh, there we go. So let's just kind of pop down this exports into my refined storage system, which we actually don't want. I want that to export. Well, actually, I don't want it to export. Uh, I probably want it to export directly to wherever it needs to go. What's this? This also is exporting into something. That needs to export into a t uh, quantum tangle porter. That's fine. This runs over here and gets linked into something. So this drum that has liquid oxygen that runs into our quantum storage or our, uh, our refined storage system. And this empty drum also does. These are all importers and exporters. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's leave that guy right there so I can find it later. And then let's see. What does this go up to? Just a crafting grid. Okay, cool. So... We're going to want to make use of quantum entangle porters to essentially fix this and make it work. Uh, so, oh, wrong wand. There we go. Let's just put a couple of these wands down here, just temporarily. Are there any other parts? I don't think so. I think these are all direct. Yeah, those are all direct from outside. So that's good, at least. Uh, how did I get up here. I forget where I actually fell down. Um, what? Isn't there supposed to be a hole up here? Whatever. Let's just make a new hole. It's fine. <laughs> Put that there. That's where I went down right there. Okay. So, quantum entangle porters, and that can just get patched up. Let's see here. Oh, and my legs are completely out of power. We'll have to recharge those, too. Let's just see... How many of these guys do I have? Quantum... Oh, and let's get rid of... All of that. I have one right here. And it looks like I lack what I need to make another one right now. Um... Let's make, like, four, if I can. I don't have those control circuits. Do I have those? There we go. So I think it was, like, eight of those that I needed or something. I can make four. Okay. So I'm also out of atomic alloy. Okay, so tell you what, guys, let me see if I can get these quantum entangle porters made, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So I think one thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a... S right now, I've currently got a couple of these running into the same thing. But I think this hard water right here is going to have to run into its own quantum entangle porter, I think. What else do I have coming out of here? Maybe nothing. Maybe I don't have anything coming out of there. We'll take a look and see. Maybe I can get away with just using the power conduit. I'm still making more of these. Uh, there we go. Actually, just finished getting the required materials. So let's make two more. There we go. That'll give me a total of five. Hopefully that'll be enough for everything. So let's see. I know that I have... Hard water. Oh, wow, that hurt a lot. That's okay. 
We're fine. Whew. All right. We're okay. We're fine. Uh, however, I need a way to transfer fluid. Like, that needs to be a thing. So, let's go and grab some fluid conduits or some sort of something so that I can actually transfer the fluid I need. Uh, pipes. Yep, that'll do. I think, I hope, it should. It should be sufficient. And what are you set to? You're set to deuterium. So if I put this guy here, and we run that pipe in, power set, and we'll say output everything fluids, here we go. on that will start filling this up okay so that is good and it looks like it's doing the hard water which is what we needed it to do uh fluids there we go so that should work and this this tank right here is basically just a little buffer chest to give us a little bit of a buffer then let's see over here we have liquid oxygen that was being imported I think yeah that was just being imported we can just leave that as a drum I don't know what this was outputting uh, oh these are what's going on with the oh I know what I know what was happening there yeah 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 so instead of outputting to this chest let's output to here and say items input and then let's just double check and make this make sure this is all set up the way it should be so it's inserting on red why is it inserting on red i feel like it should be inserting on a different color you're ex Extracting on red or no that's energy that's energy let's see so this item conduit comes from it looks like oh actually we got items coming from here extracting on red and then from right there extracting on red as well okay so why is this not inserting on red it well actually it is is it because the substrate has nowhere to go because here we've got all the biofuel we could possibly need Substrate. Let's look at our sides. Outputting to the bottom. Yup. And this is just a drawer. Which... Has nothing in it. So for some reason, the substrate isn't going where it's supposed to. Because the substrate should be ending up in here. Auto eject is on, outputting there, and inserting here on red. Hmm. Curious. So there's got to be something else that's causing this not to work. I mean, I can take the substrate out, but it looks like the substrate isn't being extracted for some reason. The substrate should be extracted. I mean, we've got this all set to input now, so maybe it maybe it will be now, but still a little weird. Extract always, round robin disabled. 
Ah, extract on red. That's the problem. Aha! We figured it out. We are the world's greatest detectives. It's like, I'm like Sherlock Holmes. Not really. But we gotta figure it out, and that's the important thing. So now this will continue to do its thing. Which is what we want. Uh, and the rest of us, I think, should be okay. So, yeah. But I think we got pretty much everything switched over that needs to be. These will fill up with stuff, little by little. So I'll have to come through and, and swap these out for other things from time to time. Because uh, I don't really have a way to do bulk liquid storage, annoyingly. Um, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, and there are higher drums in here. There's the uh, creative drum, iron drum, reinforced large drum. The reinforced large drum, I believe, is pretty re oh actually it's this one right here i think it's called like the demonic drum or something like that it's a little crazy i don't know how to get the demon ingots though so if you know let me know by all means but the reinforced drum holds a pretty significant amount too so we should be okay unfortunately though guys i am out of time for this episode so my friends if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment i do appreciate it and it really helps out my channel you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.